Hello everybody, Yandros here with a new Source Filmmaker tutorial where I'm going to show you how to add portals into Source Filmmaker. You will see with the version 2 of this script, it's pretty straightforward. So to do so, you just have to select anything on the animation set, right click, go to the rig menu and add portal by Yandros version 2. I recommend, by the way, uh, of course, making a backup of the scene because uh, the script will mess with a lot of things in the element viewer. And if you are unlucky, you may cause scene corruption. Um, it's very hard to recover from a corrupted scene, so it's far more easier to just backup the scene and apply the script. And if there ever is a problem, you just load the, the, the copy of the scene. And you can also do something pretty uh, uh, on, well on the same lines. You just uh, you play the, let's say I have uh, the shot I'm gonna be working on is the shot one to from zero to ten seconds. Well, you can just go really near the end and just apply a second blade. So if you look clear closely here you will have a copy of uh, your first shot and you can using uh, alt uh, yes alt and left mouse, mouse button just drag it so that you can cancel the modifications i really recommend doing it because applying several times my script on the same shot isn't recommended so if you just want to add later another set of portals or you just want to delete them well, you should uh, actually use a new shot to delete the portals. So that's what I recommend doing. So back to the our basic shot. We right click any element of the animation set. We go to the rig menu, add portal by Yandros. So here you have a first warning, which says actually well, what I already told you. Uh, make Save a copy of your scene before executing the script. If you forgot to do so, you can always cancel the execution and save a copy and then apply the script. So once you are at the please pick a portal color set uh, window, you have two sub menus uh, or lists. You can choose whether your set of portals should be orange and blue, the default campaign mode light and dark blue the atlas scope mode and red and or or red and orange which correspond to peabody co-op color set let's say we choose uh, what the default one and then you can also choose whether you want uh, the new heavy constraint system which will allow you to orient the portals for well uh, as you like, but it's heavier, it may slow down a little bit Source Filmmaker, and uh, well, it may also, uh, well, pro corrupt your scene. I, it ha hasn't, has never happened to me with the stable version, so it shouldn't happen, but well, you have been warned. So let's just uh, see what the light version does before showing the full version of the script. So the light version of the script, as you can see, it has added uh, the portal at the where the element you had right clicked. Uh, is here it's the scene camera. And then you have the custom portal frame. This will set where uh, where the, the vision is shown onto the other uh, frame. So the RT portal is where what will actually be rendered into your video and the custom portal is just a helper while you're working to show where the uh, portal camera is as you can see the portal camera is rendered here at the custom portal frame once you have finished uh, manipulating your custom portal frame the pro ah, custom portal frame you can go to show send your archie and click on the eye next to custom portal so that it's hidden because it shouldn't be rendered at the end uh, of the day. So uh, once you have positioned your custom portal as you like, you can then move the scene portal. Let's say, let's move it here. You can move your scene portal. And as you can see, the 
portal camera will adjust its orientation. It works because both portals are parallel. So I have made uh, sure you can't actually move the custom portal frame orientation because it would mess with everything. So in this version, the light fast version, you can't, you must use parallel portals. But as you can see, they, the script works pretty nice to, for that use. So I recommend doing it, using it if you, if that, uh, if parallel portals are enough. You can also adjust, uh, the, of course, the portal camera field of view. You can even use a preset to do so. And finally, well, I think that's all. Now let's go with the advanced portal script. So let me undo everything. Uh, okay. <laughs> I need the portal camera here. Okay, so now we are again the same situation that before, and now we are applying the advanced script. So let's go with the default color set. So now, as you can see, we can have a different orientation for the custom portal frame. Um, well, let's position it. I'm going to use some helpers I had already made just to position them the portals quickly because, well, you don't want to be seeing me position the portals for like a minute. So let's do it quickly in a couple of seconds. Once you have positioned your portals, it's very important, important to unlock them because if you don't do so, my script is going to be reading wrong values. And once you have unlocked them, you must refresh the data. The data. To do so, just select uh, your animation set, click on the center and escape button. You, and as you can see, the data has been refreshed. Okay, so now that that has been refreshed, we can go with our, well, it's a little bit um, too bright. Uh, let's go. I don't really know how do the light interactions work. So sometimes it's too dark, sometimes it's too bright. Just mess with it and you might end with something like. And as you can see, well, the script is working even though this portal is uh, this orientation and the other portal is makes a 90 degrees angle. You can even do some shenanigans like this one. For example, to uh, the script is gonna still be working. That's pretty awesome. And of course, well, you can do really whatever orientation you want. You can position it here, go to the transform, rotation, zero, 90. Hmm, what's happened? And zero, of course. Okay, and now while you're moving the scene camera, you will see it's still working. So I think that's all. Okay, yes, uh, you can of course change the color of your uh, portal using the skin submenu. But of course you can only select between the two skins of you selected when applying the script. If you change your mind after applying your script, well, you will have to add the frame you want, let's say Peabody afterwards, link, lock the RT portal frame to the new frame, zero it, and then hide the RT portal frame. And then you can uh, again change the color of the portals. Avoid, if you can, applying my script several times on the same shot. It may do some strange things. Okay, so I think that's all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and even like the video. It helps me out a lot and it may make me add some new features to Source Filmmaker because now I fully understood how I think was fully it's very 
may be a very big word, but I have a very better understanding of how the element viewer works and how the um, script uh, scripting works. So I really recommend, I can really do, I think, very nice th things now. So if you like it, just tell me, give me some ideas, and I really think I can do that. So have a nice day and thanks for watching.